Okay, so I've restarted my console, and good news, the sound has refreshed. So, uh, unfortunately, this this is, obviously, like I said, this is an emulated 360 game, essentially, because I'm running an Xbox uh, 360, Xbox original on an Xbox 360. Wish I had my original Xbox, but I don't know where the hell it went. I know it's funny that I misplaced it, but, um, so, unfortunately, bugs are going to be kind of persistent, but we're going to overcome them and play through this amazing game. So... Let's keep going and take out these black Vulcars. Vulcar. Suck a big fat one. Whoa! The thing is with the no sound, it actually improved the, the game's uh, frame rate. So. Go get this asshole. There we go. Frag grenade, anything else? Nothing. Okay, what does this do? Hold on there, civilians. Only those okay, Karth, can you get out of the way? Are allowed into the undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you... I do, but uh, do I, do I want to go into their base? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me check. Um, we'll help you get Basila back. He's just as... If you recover... Okay. Yeah, so basically, I should go down here first. Okay. Oh, I can collect his bounty from Zax. Shit, I gotta go do that. Should I do that now? Yeah, I'm gonna go do that. I wanna go get my money. Keep going. <laughs> I'm wondering if I, when I finish this, do a KOTOR 2 walkthrough when I get time. What would you guys think about that, if you liked it enough? I'll probably ask later on. But I don't know if this, I think it's emulated a little better with a lot with just with a lot more with a little more noise bugs like because that game was buggy as on its own even on the original Xbox it was weird man anyway because it said I'm here to collect a bounty I should have done it I could have collected Buddy's bounty Alrighty, now let's go find this fat slug. Get my money! Gotta get paid, son! Gotta get paid! Paid this maximum wage! Oh no, this is... no. He's in here, I think. No, where the hell is this slug? Probably the last room I check. No, what the hell? Maybe it is this room. Yeah, it is. Why didn't I go in here? Yeah, yeah. Uh... I got a bounty. A bounty, well, human, that is what I'm here for. Which bounty are you collecting on? Oh, Selvin. I might as well tell about Selvin. Get it, too. Tell him, tell him Matrix is dead. I've heard reports of a rather large explosion. Some of my people saw you buying a permacrete detonator. It's good Matrix dead, but maybe you went overboard, human. Next time, use a blaster, not a bomb. Bombs are messy, but at least the job is done. 300 credits. That's awesome. I want to say, see if I can persuade him. Ah! Alrighty. I just lost my head. I'll take 300. You do good work, human. There's a lot. There's lots of bounty hunters on Terrace, but most are lazy. Maybe if you can't keep cashing in bounties, they'll work harder. I got a bounty, and I'll collect it on what's her name? On Selvin. So Selvin's dead. All the other bounty hunters that went after her ended up dead themselves. You know, you did well, human. It's 300. Do you think I can get this one? I did! You're brave human to bargain with a hut, but I like you. Okay, 400 it is. Perfect. Alright, we're done. I just got 700 creds. Beautiful. So I could buy something nice if I wanted to. I mean, my armor's not bad, but it could be better. 
Okay, I think this is the exit. Okay, we're gonna go into the uh, the underworld and deal with the rat goos. And fix and stop this disease. I remember one part in the underground. I'm not gonna mention about mention anything until we get there though. I remember it's gonna be interesting. Okay, think, let me oh let me look at the map, just make sure I'm going the right way. Cool. The long hike back. It's nice that you can fast travel to your hideout, but actually, you know what? Give me a normal med pack. Just heal that up. Alrighty, bro. Okay, talk to this idiot. Hold on there, civil. Unless you've got. Here's the security papers. Let me see. Uh, hmm. Yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you though. The undercity is crawling with mutants, rack ghouls they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Will do. Thanks, buddy. Let's go. In the Undercity. This place is straight up ghetto, man. Like, this is the ghetto of Terrace. If you thought the, 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 the lower Terrace that we just left was in, this is like skid row of Terrace people. <laughs> it's pretty grimy. This is a disease that, ah, oh, man. It's bonkers. You there, upworlder. Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. This is bullshit. Five credits. That's what it costs to use Fuck our this elevator. Shit. Five credits. It's so bad, the frame rate down here. What? Who are you? What are you doing here in the, in the Undercity? We are the outcast. Banished and reviled by the those who dwell above. Here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence, scavenging and begging just to survive long enough to see another wretched day. God, that's horrible this down is here. Our village. Okay, God. I'll give him 20. You poor wretches. Here's 20 credits to buy some food and clothing. <laughs> Credits, my brother! We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. And Gosh, drugs? The others are hear us. They'll wanna They wanna we have to hide them. Shut Go up. On, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name's Dan Quinn. Who are you? My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? I don't want to make her feel bad. I'll just say it's nothing special. Not to you, I suppose, but you're probably used to its beauty by now. To them, it's I've like been paradise. To the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so. so. so wonderful. It's Yandar, not bad. The leader of our village tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Rukil? Who's that? Rukil is the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. The Promised Land? What's that? 
It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukiel believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukiel. Where can I find Rukiel? He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. He's the ancient. children laugh at him and people think, think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. Okay. You'd probably get more information from Gendar, the village leader. Oh, this is horrible. I don't know anything about that, but maybe... Yeah, Gendar blah, blah. This is... I'm sorry, it's just... I'll be going oh, now. okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the upworld. Sure, goddamn. That was a shitty ass frame rate, bro. I'm wondering if I should try and get a vert. Maybe download it off Steam. Hopefully it'll work on my PC, you know, and just like replay up to my this certain point and record on in HD, because this isn't really HD, so. And there's, there will be no frame rate skippage. Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Ah! I need to upgrade. I'm wondering if I should just do it and upgrade and then play up to this point. This is bad. I mean, I thought they fixed this shit. Hold on one second. Uh, okay, well, you know what? I'm going to finish talking to this guy and then I'll see what I can do. If I can upgrade, fix something. Anyway, who are you people? Why do you live here in the Undercity? We are the outcasts, shunned from the surface for our crimes and banished here to the Undercity. We banded together to form this village that we might survive in this hostile environment. I am Gendar, leader of this village. As my father was, and as was his father before him. Many of us have been here for generations, our ancestors cast down long ago. There is no return to the surface for us or our descendants. But somehow we managed to survive amidst the filth and roaming bands of deadly rat ghouls. What a horrible way to live, bro. Life down here can be difficult. It can break the spirit. Many in the village have become bitter and hopeless, especially those newly cast down. But life goes on, and we must try to make the best of what we have. And maybe someday we will find a better life. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm starting to sound like Rukil. Rukil? I already know who he is, but I'll ask. The oldest man in the village. He's a kind soul, but I'm afraid he's growing weary of this world. He dreams of escaping, of finding a better world. If you wish to speak to him, you can probably find him wandering about the village. As I said, a kind man, though he does cling to his illusions. I'll probably speak with him. Tell me about the rat ghouls that live down here. The rat ghouls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. I want to ask you some questions. Ask your questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. I'm looking for a Twi'lek named Mission Veo. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. How can I get to the sewers? There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. I can if manage. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul creatures. Like, when they emulated this bullshit, did they not, like... Uh, I don't know. I'll see what I can do. I want to ask you some questions. Ask your questions, What else does he know? I already know about that. He said something about other upworlders who came by here recently? Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. 
They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. Okay. I'll be going As now. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village, and I will do my best to help you however I can. Alrighty, so I'm going to see what I can do about this frame rate. If need be, I'll somehow get my hands on PC version, and um, I will hopefully like beat up to this point with similar weapons and armor. If I can, I'm going to do my best. Um, but if not, I'll be back, possibly on the Xbox version with the 360, but I just, I don't want this bugginess to continue throughout the game, so, uh, I'm just gonna hit the save, and hopefully I'll be back soon, uh, with the appropriate, with a better version, alright? So I'll be back soon.